Hi, I'm Mr. West, but it's most stylish. And today, instead of walking around, I'm sort of a rather cool chick. I'm just being a little bit tired. Look how cool it is. All right, and I'm going to be talking to you about the Truman Doctrine and Marshall Plan. Now, the Truman Doctrine was based around one key word, containment. Truman accepted that the communists had taken over certain areas of the world, like in Eastern Europe. Okay, but he realized that if he was to let them take up any more areas, then this would prove to be a real problem for America. And that communism was where it was, they couldn't change that, but they had to contain it, like damn it, and keep it there. Okay, this is really important in the kind of to do with the Marshall Plan, as we're going to go on to, but it also links into like Vietnam and Cuba later on, uh, Cuba and Vietnam later on in the piece. Okay, basically, the Truman Doctrine it was based around containment, it was involved with helping Greece and Turkey. And they were threatened by communist countries, and because of containment, America wasn't prepared to let them become communist. Okay, this early domino theory idea of the fact that once one country had uh, become communist, those around it would become that. So it kind of had to be kept there. Now, he gave this speech, as I say, uh, and basically it said $400 million could be given to Greece and Turkey. Hey, sir, you all right? Yeah. Who are looking for? Uh, the Max books. And the other there? Is that them there? It's got a rather impromptu visit from Mr. Jacobs in the middle of this video. Uh, but there you go. Yeah, so as I say, he promised it. Go on, sir. Yeah, it promises 400. That's next nice touch. It promises 400 million pounds to uh, Greece and Turkey in order to make sure that those countries, both kind of at civil war, wouldn't become communists. All right, and that was largely a success. He managed to repel that. Remember, communism always thrives in areas where we've got a situation of a lot of poor, poor standards of living, poor econo economy, and stuff like that. So by giving the money in, they were able to get the economies going and made people think communism wasn't really for them. This then developed then from, uh, into the uh, Marshall Plan, which is basically a, a way of generally helping Europe to recover from war. The Americans feared that an impoverished post-war Europe would end up becoming communist, a bit like in Greece and Turkey, but at Europe at large. So basically help, wanting them to help Europe recover economically, so that in the future there would be a case where uh, they wouldn't ever think about becoming communist, all right? Uh, yeah, and it kind of helped uh, America as well, because it was like what Stalin termed economic imperialism. Basically, they weren't actually taking over the country. That would be regular imperialism, like building an empire. But what they were doing was uh, taking over the economy, economy of these uh, countries, making them rely on US-produced goods. And even though America would be paying for the goods, it kind of helped US economy to increase its profits. And as I say, it wasn't very happy and it called this economic imperialism. Now around that, he was kind of very, as I say, unhappy. And he decided to set up Comic-Con, okay, the establishment of the Council of Mutual Economic Assistance, to try and be like, in Eastern Europe, what the Marshall Plan was to Western Europe, because obviously he banned all kind of Eastern European nations from taking part in the Marshall Plan. Of course, one of those who did take part in it was Tito in Yugoslavia, when he had his falling out with Stalin. Okay, um, all the satellites in Eastern Europe had to um, kind of not apply for martial aid, and they would get some help from Stalin. But of course, he didn't have any money really to back it up, so he didn't really help them. On the, on the kind of Western European side, 16 nations applied for help, and between 1948 and 1950, European industrial production increased by 25%. Uh, in 1952, most Western countries were well on their way to recovery, and Marshall Plan was a success. Okay, so we've seen the chair, we've seen Mr. Jacobs, but most importantly, we've seen about the Truman Doctrine and the Marshall Plan. Done.